Today on CHTV, we're taking a look at the latest winter fashion trends at our school. Then, a spotlight on freshman basketball player Alex Kudo. Plus, we'll learn about some Carmel Boys swim team traditions. We've got all that and more. What's this Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. You're gonna solve that mystery. I see you Scooby-Doo. The trail leads back to you. What's this Scooby-Doo? Good morning, Coma Greyhounds, and happy Thursday. I am Janice English. And I'm Elsa Bray, here with your CHTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before we get started, we would like to wish everyone a happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys, and happy birthday to those celebrating this weekend. And when it comes to style, you're either basic or not. What's your OOTD, Elsa? So today I'm wearing a thrifted outfit from Goodwill. This is a vintage crew neck and I'm wearing flared jeans. And this necklace I actually made with beads from Michaels. What about you? Today I am wearing a shirt from Forever 21. My pants are from American Eagle and I stole this hair tie from my friend. Kind of basic. I love your outfit. For more fashion news, let's head over to entertainment. Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Hallie Reeves. And I'm Kirby Biggs, here with your entertainment update. To start off our show, we have a fashion package over popular trends. Let's take a look. Now that the winter season has arrived, new styles have emerged in transition to the cold weather. Today, we're interviewing fellow students on their thoughts on the latest winter fashion trends. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing H&M jeans, um, Paxton sweater, and Converse. Um, I'm wearing a shirt I just got from Goodwill. It's pretty nice. What do you think is a winter fashion essential? I don't know, maybe you see some cute boots, a scarf, you know, some warm and comfortable. Definitely not like no shorts in the winter. Definitely like those like orange hats that were like a trend last year. I got one. I forgot what the brand is though. No. Um, big black <laughs> puffer jackets, no. right? Like how can you be? Oh, we're not in the future. What trend do you think is overplayed right now? Um, fast fashion with like the Y2K and cow friends. Really big flare pants, to be honest. I don't really like them. Masks. Oh my, that's not a trend. It is a trend. Every single TikTok. Everybody's out. wearing one. That makes it a trend. Because it's required. And Nike dogs. What's a fashion red flag in someone? Um, if they have like those like really high like socks, like the guys, and it's just like, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to be near that person. <laughs> Wife beater. Um, probably if they just wear all athletic clothes all day. When someone judges other people for what they wear when they dress half decent. What's the most attractive thing a guy or a girl can wear? Nothing. Mm, uh, I think like you just have like really nice shoes. It's attractive. What are they look good in? I think it's just her having her own style and then combo. Like a baggy jean and like graphic tee like combo. <laughs> Sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Those are some good trends. Kirby, what's your favorite trend? I love the 90s vintage look. I love what Elsa has going on at the host desk. It's my favorite. So speaking of trends and Black History Month, let's talk about some trends inspired by black culture. The bucket hat was a popular street style trend in the 80s. Big Bang Hank sported the bucket hat and created the popular trend. Since then, it has been seen on major runways such as Fendi and Prada. In Carmel News, the orchestra winter concert was last night at Creekside Middle School. Concert G1, Concert G3, Sinfonia, and Festival Orchestras all played. Winter Concert number 2 is tonight at 7 and will feature the Philharmonic and Symphony Orchestra. Well, that's all we have for your entertainment update. Let's send it to Mark with your sports update. Good morning, Carmel Greyhounds. My name is Mark Bespigos. Welcome back to your CHTV Sports Announcements. Carmel will host the La Lumiere Regional Team next Wednesday at 6 p.m. for a varsity-only contest. If you have an all-sports pass, do not worry, they will be accepted. Staying on the court, CHTV Stanzi Williams interviewed freshman Alex Couto about his basketball experience. I'm Alex Couto, 
Um, I'm a freshman on JV. What made you start basketball when you were younger? Uh, ever since I was young, I've always had like a basketball in my hand, and I just loved it ever since. What's your biggest inspiration? Uh, probably my dad, because he's always pushing me to be better, and he always helps me out. What does your future look like when it comes to basketball? Uh, I'm really hoping to play college basketball. That's been my dream since I was little. How has your experience with basketball at Carmel High School been? My experience has been great. You know, the guys are really good to me. I really feel like I'm not like a, just a freshman. I feel like I fit in really well. What work do you put in outside of basketball practice? Um, I usually work out three days a week and try and get better on those days. Thank you, Sansi, for that little slice into the world of a freshman basketball player at Carmel. Recently, I interviewed team captains Graham Seaver and Dylan Parashak of the boys' varsity swim team about their interesting traditions. Parashak and I am captain of the team. Uh, I'm Graham Seaver. I'm the other captain of the Carmel swim team. All right, so my first question is, what are the main traditions that Carmel High School swimmers do every year before sectionals and so on? Uh, so normally before sectionals, uh, the Sunday before the meet, we uh, all meet up at the same place and we all bleach our hair and uh, it's, it's a fun team bonding event and everybody comes. And then after that we all go to Goodwill and pick out uh, essentially the worst outfits we can find and then wear those to school the next Monday. Um, and then on the Wednesday that week, um, we have a sectional dinner where we all get together, um, uh, have dinner, essentially hype each other up. We read some speeches that the seniors from the previous year have sent in. Um, and then we shave crazy designs into our head. Um, everyone gets like a just random crazy cut from the seniors and then the seniors all get the same crazy cut. And then we go through sectionals and uh, after sectional pre uh, prelims, I believe, uh, we shave it all off. When and how did these traditions start? Well, they started quite a while ago as before, like, swim caps were really a popular thing. Uh, all the swimmers would just shave all their hair off to um, make it more efficient when they're going through the water. There's less drag. Uh, and then once people began uh, using caps, uh, we just kind of carried on the tradition for a team bonding thing, like we all have shaved heads and we're all uh, unified as a team. Is this some kind of way to prepare for sectionals and so, uh, so forth, or is it just some kind of tradition? Um, it's, it's a little bit of both. Like We've been doing it for so long that it's just tradition at this point, but at the same time, uh, it makes a team really close before sectionals, and it's a great way to get hyped up and get excited uh, before the meet. Go Hounds! Good luck, boys, swimming in sectionals, and so forth. That is all the sports news I have for you today. Now let's send it over to Morgan with your CHTV weather update. Morgan? Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Morgan Mace with your weather forecast. Today we're looking at a high chance of rain and potentially some snow later on tonight, as the low will be in the low 20s. But earlier in the day, we will experience temperatures in the mid-50s. Looking ahead to Friday, the high will be 30 and the low will be 11, but potentially sunny skies for parts of the day. For the weekend, Saturday is still going to be on the chillier side with a low of 16 and a high of 29. Then, as we, as we head into Sunday, the temperatures will dramatically increase, giving us a high of 51. Before we send it back to the host desk for your daily announcements, please stay tuned for a quick commercial break. This year, Comedy Sports is back in front of a live studio audience. Check out our first home match, Friday, February 25th at 7 o'clock p.m. Tickets are available at carmeldrama.org. Now for today's daily announcements. Due to the library signage being ignored, the West parking lot becoming the West parking lot becoming extremely packed from high school students. Any student that parks in this lot will be towed starting March 1st. The second call-out meeting for WHJE Unplugged is today, February 16th, right after school in C139. Bring your own instrument. There's a call-out meeting today after school for any students interested in joining Active Minds, a student-led club centered around mental health awareness. Meet in room E208. 
The South Asian Culture Club will meet today in A334. Come out to discuss South Asian culture, amazing snacks, and for a great time. SAT Prep Club will have a call-out meeting today after school in B221. For more information, see Mr. Stacy in B221. Unified Track will meet from 4.15 to 5 p.m. today in the main cafeteria. This is the last week to submit your entries for the Literary Magazine. Submit any art, photography, poetry, short stories, reviews, and more for a chance to win a $15 Amazon gift card. Entries are due Monday, February 21st at 11.59 p.m. Visit at CHS Literary Magazine for more details. Before we wrap up our show, let's send it over for in-studio announcements. Hi, I'm Brandon Anderson from the African History and Culture Club, and for today's influential figure in black history, I'll be talking about James Baldwin. He was born in 1924 in Harlem, New York, and at a very early age developed a passion for reading and writing, and he made, very, uh, and he made a lot of short stories, poems, and plays in his youth. And later on, he published books that became very famous and recognized nationally, like The Fire Next Time and Giovanni's Room. He was a gay black author, and so he has become an inspiration for many of today's LGBTQ black authors. He died after the civil rights movement uh, leaders had been killed, and so he was very disheartened about that. But we continue on to honor his memory and remember his amazing works. Hi, Greyhounds. So today is the final round of senior superlative voting is now open. Um, all grades can fill out the form and it will close on February 19th at 1159. You will need to log in using your school account and the link can be found in the highlights Instagram bio at Highlight News. Also, our February issue is out today, so make sure to stop by a kiosk around the school to pick one up. Good morning, Greyhounds. We're here from Senate to remind you that this week is School Officer Appreciation Week. Take time to appreciate all the hard work that our officers put in to keep our schools safe and protected. Thank you. Hello Carmel! Dance Marathon is coming up in less than two weeks on February 26th. If you have not signed up already, you can use the link in our bio on the Instagram of at Carmel Dance Marathon to sign up. And if you'd like to be in the same color group as your friends, make sure to fill out our color group request form also in the bio of our Instagram. And we, that is due 4 or 5 today, so make sure you get that done today. And then we will post our color groups on February 22nd, which is next Tuesday, also in the bio of our Instagram, at Carmel Dance Marathon. So make sure to check that out. Also, SRT Dancer Shirt Pickup has been moved to next Thursday, so February 24th. It's going to be first and second session in the Freshman Cafeteria. You will come and pick up your dancer shirt for Dance Marathon, and at that point you can turn in any offline fundraising that you might have. Again, that's going to be next Thursday, February 24th, first and second session, SSRT Freshman Cafeteria. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you guys at Dance Marathon. Now, let's send it back to the host desk. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure to follow our Instagram at Carmel TV and our Twitter at CHTV. The Sweet Show will be on our YouTube channel, CHTV Carmel Television, so go check them out. For our next show, we'll find out why you should join choir. And a pre preview of our spring sports coming up. For CHTV, this has been Janice English. And I'm Elsa Bray. Have a thriving Thursday. And remember, there are only 14 more Fridays till summer break. We'll see you next week. Hounds, stay tuned.